The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, we're composing a disrespectful string beat. So let's start out from scratch with a blank Ableton session. When I make string beats, I like to do something kind of melodic, and I love using presets that make melodic suggestions like Cthulhu. So I'm starting out with the B minor preset inside of Pop and Progressions 1, and I've attached it to a stock string that comes here in Ableton. Went to Instruments, and I found Strings 5 Quartet. Oop, that's a little loud, let me turn that down. Dragged it onto a MIDI channel, and now to attach Cthulhu to this MIDI channel, all you gotta do is select it here, and then select it here, and then hold command so that they're both record enabled, so that when you play a single note, it does an entire arpeggio based off of the scale you have picked here, Toss a little reverb on here. So let's see if we can use some of the pre-made chords in this Cthulhu preset and record ourselves an ARP to start this disrespectful string beat out of. I like that. Now you can see this orange piece up here is what I was playing with one hand and what we were hearing is what got printed down here in this lower piece. And because the arpeggiator was triggering it, it's already perfectly quantized. Well, actually, I think I had some swing on in here. Let me see because it doesn't look, yep. I had the tiniest little bit of swing on here in the arpeggiator too. And that's gonna be perfect for this piece. Now let's take another string section and attach it to Cthulhu. So I'm going to take... That sounds nice. So I'm going to make a new channel, Command-Shift-T, and let's connect this to Cthulhu, just like we did the first one. So it's just triggering chords. Let's see what this gives us. And now I don't even have to play anything. I can just let it record the chords I already played for me. I'm gonna make a new MIDI channel beneath this, copy this down, and let's start our 808 out of this pattern. So I'm just gonna fold these to minimize it all. And now let's go grab a disrespectful 808. Hmm. Hmm, I like that one. So let's just drop that on here. I'm not sure what octave this is playing, but it's gotta be the middle octave for it to work with the sampler right. next thing I want to do is load up an impulse rack with some one shots to fill in this beat. I'm going to load up this one here. Let's put a clap in here. That kick is thick. Mm. Oh, all right. Some hi hat action. That's perfect. We can actually just separate these right now by just deleting the snares out of this one and calling it hats. Let's drop a kick in this beat.
Awesome. Let's duplicate this. Let's create another 808 for this part. Actually, we already have our notes picked out right here, so we could just chop this piece up into multiple hits. And then just duplicate. And we've got ourselves an 808 loop. I'm also going to make this a little bit more stereo by adding a ping pong delay on here. Let's make these hats a little fancier. I'm going to go grab another hi hat. Let's take this one and let's go down. We're going to put an arpeggiator before this, and let's do it really fast. One on the voice and some pan randomization. And to spruce these up even more, I think I'm going to hit them with a ping pong delay quarter note. And now that this echo is overlapping with our snare, we're just gonna create a sidechain compressor so that it ducks to the snares. Cause we don't want anything interfering with the cleanliness of our snare drum. I'm just gonna shrink all these tracks a little bit to give us some more room for some new stuff. Let's drop in another MIDI channel. I wanna do some percussions in here. We can do it as an impulse. Exactly the perk I'm looking for. This one's perfect too. Hey. To help this dance a little bit better with the kick 808 and snare, I'm going to do the same side chain trick. So let's just duck this a little bit to the snares, duplicate it, and duck this to the kick. Let's see if we can add some variation to these strings with halftime. I'm gonna have this come in for this second half, like this. Yes. Now I'd like to create another break to come after this 16. And I wanna also introduce another variation of this string arp. So I'm gonna pull up one of the factory violins out of the contact bank. And then I'm gonna select this pizzicato. A. And now we got ourselves some pop and plucks. Sort of. Some pop and violin plucks. I'm gonna grab halftime from the original string and put it on this one too. And let's just turn it up. This is getting hot already. I think I'd like to have this continue into the next beat too. Let's drag these drums over. Does your mastering sound like hot trash? Have you wasted countless hours trying to finish your song with no results? Introducing Ozone Master Sauce our cleanest and most powerful mastering preset ever for Isotope Ozone 8. Sauce up your song today with Ozone Master Sauce. Available now only at Holoops.com. Let's create another variation of this string with longer notes. I'm going to pull up an actual pop and pluck. So I'm going to load up Serum, pull up Whole Loops, Pop and Plucks Volume 1. Add a little synth in here, that way not everything is a string. 
Oh, where's the quantize? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna quantize these 100%. See what else we can do here inside serum. I think I'm gonna filter this down some more. Actually, this might be a cool knob to automate. Actually, low cut is what I'm gonna automate. That sounds tight. I'm gonna do a big sweep that goes up and down to make this thing grow, and then kind of shrink back down before the beat comes in. Hey. Popping plucks with the sauce. Some cutoff automation because why not? I'll have it go down a little bit and then scoop up. I think it's time to add some more strings in here since, after all, this is a disrespectful string beat. Let's check out Wavetable. I'm gonna record a high string with this. I love it. I think to make this wider, I'm going to sauce this with a little auto pan, and I'm going to do a pretty fast, I think, eighth note. And we're going to square it off a little bit. Oop, I accidentally did sixth note. Let's do eighth note. And the offset kind of helps you align the timing of it so it feels more like a tremolo. And this amount knob is definitely trying to get automated right now. I think I'm gonna pull up one more string sound and there's some really cool strings that I love inside of the Cashmere and Seven Skies symphony pack for Serum. Ooh, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna pull this bass note down. Let's put these down a couple octaves. There we go. Let's actually stack the octaves and then slide the top octave a little bit later. Yes. I think I'm gonna sauce these strings up with some disrespect sauce. And I have a filter and an OTT after serum and I'm gonna drop it right in the middle. And this WTF is the sauce. This disrespect sauce is made with all Ableton plugins available now at wholeloops.com. A bit. Some reamp for the grit. Let's turn it off and see what we're doing. Oh. That's really nice. Let's also drop a little bit of disrespect on these pads right here. Make it feel more like a gritty organ. Disrespect sauce is going to be perfect for this. This is made out of all Ableton plugins. Yes. Bits is about to get automated. I'm going to create some channels for effects and I'm going to pull all the sweeps out of Urban Beats 4 and Urban Beats 3 and fill these channels up so we have some sweeps up and some sweeps down just to indicate where one part stops and another part begins. I'm also going to add a couple of open hi-hats. So I'm going to create an impulse and then go to Urban Beats 4 and pick out my favorite few hi-hats and just set them all to gate mode and let's... Hey. And I think a tambourine loop is gonna be a perfect counter loop for this hi-hat loop. They're both playing eighth notes, but this one's got a looser feel. So I think on top of the hi-hats, which are very programmed, this live tambourine is gonna give it some bounce. 
I'm just going to stretch this out throughout the song, make it green, turn it down a little bit. And let's do some snare rolls too to make this beat have some different snares. I'm just going to copy these around so we have a drum fill before each beat comes in. And let's do these fast rolls just in the second half. All right, so I'm closing my drums group, closing my synths group. It's time to drop the ultimate sauce on the master chain, and that's Ozone 8. And I've created a preset called Ozone Master Sauce that gets me right up to my finishing spot in an instant. So I'm just going to pull that up. I've also turned my beat down just to make sure that I'm not hitting the plug in too hard. And that way I can turn it back up right here on the final output. Let's turn the EQ off and see what happens. Final thing I want to do is add a little snare groove to fill in the second break. I don't want it to sound exactly the same as the intro. So I'm just going to copy this over, but let's do something completely different. I'm going to delete all the claps. And let's just make a new pattern with these snares. Let's just cut that right at the end. And I'm gonna do a freeze and flatten on this clip so we could pitch it up with the audio transpose real simply like this. Then pull it down 12 and let's also put it up 12. And then a little filter action, of course. I think the snare can use a little bit more action, so we're going to hit it with a flanger. Flanger after the filter is tight. Definitely some eighth note echoes. I'm just gonna change this to straight eighths. And then let's automate this dry wet knot a little bit. Automation is really the sauce when you're making beats because none of these effects are that special, but what makes them special is how you make them dance to the song. You know what I'm saying? So now that we've got our intro, our drums, some automation, Let's take a listen to our finished and disrespectful string beat. there you have it, my disrespectful beat made from strings. I hope you found all the tips, tricks, presets, and shortcuts in this tutorial useful. And if you want to check out the Cthulhu Serum or Ozone presets that you saw in this tutorial, you can get them all at wholeloops.com. And I'll catch you guys next time with another tutorial. Peace out.